Calcium acetate is an extremely useful compound to have on hand for a variety of reasons. I, however, am going to be making a few different things from it, but to do that, we first need to make it. Calcium acetate is generally made by combining things that are made of calcium carbonate, like chalk and eggshells, with acetic acid, which is also known as vinegar. However, this project usually involves boiling off large quantities of water, which is extremely time consuming. This is because regular household vinegar is only about 5% acetic acid and 95% water. So I went to my local hardware store and found some 30% acetic acid, which should help speed this project up a bit. The first thing we need to do is grind up all of the dry eggshells in a blender. I pre-cleaned my eggshells in water and waited for them to dry. This will help the other proteins from the yolk to be washed off. Otherwise, I would have more to filter off later. The total weight of the eggs was 76 grams dry. The next thing we need to do is add about 300 milliliters of 30% acetic acid into a beaker, followed by adding in the eggshell dust slowly. If you were to use a less strong acetic acid, just scale the amount up or down. As the general rule though, use about 80 milliliters of pure acetic acid with every 75 to 80 grams of calcium carbonate. Grinding it up into a powder worked just as well as using bigger eggshell pieces, though I chose to do this to speed the, up the reaction time. This is where the experiment gets a little repetitive for a few hours. As we add the eggshells into the vinegar, it is producing CO2, which in turn pushes the eggshell dust back up. This is entertaining at first, but this is what will happen for the next few hours, and every once in a while I just come back and stir it. Finally, I added my last little bit of eggshells, and now when I was coming back to stir, there was as much foam as there was liquid. Ideally, we want to use up all of the acetic acid in the mixture, so we boil off less after. After 48 hours of stirring it every so often, I finally came back and there was no more bubbling when I stirred it. Also, the smell of acetic acid was almost gone. From here, I take it and filter it through a few coffee filters. The powder was so fine though that I had to switch out my filter two or three times using a total of six coffee filters. However, most of the powder we filter off can then be reacted again using this same method. Eventually, there will be almost nothing left to filter off, and this is really cool because we can just keep making more calcium acetate until we run out of calcium carbonate to react with. After a while, everything did filter through and we come back and the mixture was pretty cloudy. This is because there is so much calcium acetate already suspended in the water. I then add a stir bar and boil off most of the water. Unlike most compounds which get more soluble when boiling, calcium acetate becomes much less soluble and so as soon as we turn on the heat, we see calcium acetate start to fall out of solution. Once you have a thick mixture of the calcium acetate, turn down the heat but keep heating it to keep removing water. If there is too much water left in the mixture, as it cools down, it actually turns from goop back into a liquid. This is also due to its solubility. From here, we just put it in a dish and leave it to dry for about two days in open air. After that, you will have a nice white calcium acetate. This is nowhere near pure calcium acetate though. We would have to redissolve everything again, filter it, and boil it off further. Though for my next few projects, I won't need super pure calcium acetate, so this will work just fine. In the future, I also plan to work with other acetates, like sodium acetate, to reform crystals. Thank you to all my Patreon subscribers who I really appreciate helping support these videos. I mainly use money to restock my reagents to help make a range of future videos possible. You can see their names here. Next, you can see some of the videos I have planned for the future, or that I am currently working on. And, until next time, have a great rest of your day.